As you can see by our opening slide, we're going to talk about how nitric oxide improves sexual function. More specifically, we're going to talk about erectile dysfunction, or ED. If you watch any TV, then you're most likely familiar with Cialis and Viagra commercials targeted toward men with erectile dysfunction. Nitric oxide research played a critical role in the development of these two products. But the importance of nitric oxide goes beyond male sexual function, since erectile dysfunction now points to an underlying cardiovascular issue. For example, if you're a male over the age of 40 and you've gone to your doctor for an annual checkup, your physician may have asked you if you're having problems maintaining an erection. The reason for the question has little to do with poor sexual function. Instead, your physician is asking you this question because erectile dysfunction, or ED, is an early warning sign for diabetes and or circulatory problems. Now, for many of you, we've introduced a substance that you may be vaguely familiar with. That substance is nitric oxide. Outside your body, nitric oxide is considered an environmental pollutant, but inside your body, it's a signaling molecule. What this means is that it causes something else to occur, and without it, that event cannot take place. For men, nitric oxide is absolutely necessary for an erection. In fact, the bottom line is this, no, no, no sex. The second no stands for nitric oxide. No nitric oxide production, and there will be no erection little nitric oxide production and you will have a weak erection. Proper nitric oxide production helps you maintain proper sexual function. So let's talk about a tissue that is absolutely critical for this to occur. Now you might be thinking of the obvious organ most closely associated with male performance in the bedroom. Well, we're going to introduce you to another tissue that most people have never heard of but is absolutely critical to sexual function. It's called the endothelium and it's a tissue that produces nitric oxide from the semi-essential amino acid L-arginine. Your endothelium is a tissue that lines all of your vascular system. It's only one cell thick, but it lines the inside of your heart. The inside of all your arteries and arterioles, venules and veins are lined by this one cell thick tissue. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. Scientists once thought your endothelium was just an inert membrane whose only function was to help keep your blood in the bloodstream. However, research has clearly shown your endothelium to be a multifunctional tissue involved in metabolic, immunologic, and cardiovascular health. Most vascular researchers today will tell you that your endothelium is critical for proper circulation. In fact, your endothelium is so important that the 1998 Nobel Prize in Medicine was awarded to three American researchers who discovered how your endothelium converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. Most vascular researchers now believe it's your endothelium that ultimately determines the health of your vascular system. And your cardiovascular system plays a critical role in sexual performance. It's estimated that erectile dysfunction affects 50% of the male population over the age of 40. This is such a concern that Google lists over 196 million web pages that incorporate the word Viagra. That compares to 53 million web pages for the word aspirin. Almost four times the number of searches, but there's an even more important issue that needs addressing than poor performance in the bedroom. More and more research is showing that ED is really a function of poor cardiovascular health. Now, the development of Viagra is a fascinating story. It incorporates male physiology, chemistry, and the nervous system all working together to create an erection. It also provides keys to slowing down the aging process and improving cardiovascular health. Since Viagra is designed to help males achieve an erection, we need to talk a little anatomy. In its simplest terms, an erection is the change in position of the male sex organ from a limp position to a firm, hard, and upright position. When you want to move any part of your body, you use muscles. This doesn't work for the male organ since skeletal muscles are not involved in erection. It's all done by pressure, more specifically, blood pressure. The male organ contains two cigar-shaped structures called corpora carbonosa that run the length of the organ. 
Arteries bring blood into these two structures with veins carrying the blood away from them. In a non-erect state, the blood flow from the arteries is restricted while the veins are open to drain the blood away. When a man becomes aroused, the arterial blood vessels open up so that pressurized blood can enter the corpora carbonosa. The veins leaving the male organ are constricted. This action traps the pressurized blood allowing for the size increase and full erection. If the arterial blood vessels supplying the male organ do not open properly, it's almost impossible for a male to have an erection. This is the leading cause of erectile dysfunction. Prior to 1983, most doctors thought the problem of poor sexual health was primarily mental, not physical. That was until the 1983 meeting of the American Urology Association in Las Vegas. At that meeting, Dr. Giles Brindley injected his male organ with the drug phentoalamine. The result was an instant erection, and to prove his point, Dr. Brindley dropped his pants to display his drug-induced erection. Dr. Brindley's bold presentation showed that an erection was a physiological issue more than a mental issue. To understand what happened, we need to talk about muscles. Yes, we know we said muscles were not involved. Technically speaking, we're still holding this position. There are three groups of muscles. Skeletal. Skeletal muscles are those muscles that attach to the bones, allowing us to move. Cardiac. The cardiac muscle powers the heart. Smooth. Smooth muscles are found in blood vessels, the intestines, and the stomach. They usually act involuntarily. Dr. Brindley injected himself with phentoalamine. It's a drug that relaxes smooth muscle. Because of the location where he injected himself, the smooth muscles of the arterial blood vessels relaxed, allowing the corpora carvanosa to completely fill with pressurized blood. Instant and uncontrolled direction. Your body has the ability to control blood flow. Without some type of control, there would be an even amount of blood flow to most of the body. This might be okay if we were vegetables and inactive, but we aren't. We're constantly on the go, so the body has designed a mechanism to help divert blood flow to the areas that need it the most. Think of your circulatory system as an elaborate design of pipes with valves. These valves can control both the blood flow as well as divert blood to the areas that need it the most. This is going to get a bit technical, but the control mechanism incorporates the following steps. The brain sends a signal to a particular nerve cell. The nerve fiber ends in a NAC nerve cell located in the artery near the point where the blood flow needs to change. This NAC nerve cell creates nitric oxide. The NAC nerve cell releases nitric oxide into the blood and surrounding cells. The nitric oxide acts as a signaling molecule to stimulate an enzyme called guanulate cyclase. This enzyme keeps the nitric oxide from causing free radical damage by using it with GTP to produce a chemical called cyclic guanosine monophosphate or CGMP. CGMP tells the smooth muscles of the arterial blood vessel to relax. This allows for increased blood flow. There is another enzyme called phosphodiesterase, or PDE, that deactivates the CGMP by turning it back into GTP. When the CGMP is deactivated, the smooth muscle returns to its original constricted state. Confused? Think of a cycle. Guanulate cyclase turns GTP into CGMP, causing smooth muscles to relax. PDE turns the CGMP into GTP, causing the smooth muscles to return back to their constricted state. Nitric oxide turns the signal on from a nerve impulse generated in the brain. CGMP is produced as long as the brain is sending signals that initiate the production of nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is produced as long as there is an adequate supply of the amino acid L-arginine and no damage to the surrounding endothelial cells which make up the tissue called the endothelium. The most common reason men suffer from erectile dysfunction is lack of nitric oxide in the blood vessels of the corpora carbonosa 
When a man is aroused, his brain does its job by sending the proper signal to the nerves located in his male organ. The nerves produce nitric oxide, but the amount of CGMP produced is not enough to maintain an erection since nitric oxide production is limited by damaged endothelial cells and the lack of the amino acid L-arginine. The way Viagra solves this sexual health problem is pretty ingenious. To increase blood flow to the male organ, you have three options. First, increase the amount of nitric oxide produced in the arterial blood vessels. Second, increase the amount of CGMP produced in response to the nitric oxide. Or three, eliminate the PDE that converts CGMP back to GTP so that CGMP builds up. This causes the smooth muscles of the arterial blood vessels to properly relax and fill with blood. Viagra uses option 3 to achieve an erection. Why PDE? Because there are 11 different kinds of PDE in your body, but only one type of PDE found in the male organ. That type is called PDE5. Talk about creative design. All Pfizer had to do was find a chemical that would selectively block PDE5 and nothing else. This chemical is sildenafil citrate. Here's how it works. A male takes Viagra. The sildenafil citrate is absorbed into the bloodstream and carried throughout the body. The sildenafil citrate attaches to the PDE5 enzyme in the male's organ to disable it. The male is sexually aroused and the man's brain does its job. A signal is sent to the nerve cell in the male's organ which produces nitric oxide. The nitric oxide turns on the cycle creating CGMP to relax the smooth muscles of the arterial blood vessels. Since PDE5 is disabled, the CGMP doesn't break down but builds up allowing the arterial blood vessels to fully dilate. The man achieves a full erection. Great stuff when it works perfectly but there are a few minor problems. Almost every drug made by man has side effects and Viagra is no exception. Viagra blocks PDE5 but can also affect PDE6 which is used by the cone cells in the retina. This can affect color vision. For some it changes the way they perceive green and blue colors. For others they see the world in a bluish tinge for several hours. Because of this, pilots cannot take Viagra within 12 hours of a flight. The other two main side effects are headaches and flushing. The blocking of the PDE5 can spill over to other areas of the body, causing uncontrolled vasodilation. Because Viagra is a prescription drug rather than an over-the-counter drug, always consult a qualified physician before taking any Viagra-like product. We're not discounting the benefits of Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra to help men with erectile dysfunction. All three, when properly used under the guidance of a qualified physician, have been able to change poor sexual function into good sexual function. But understand that these drugs are treating a symptom more than the underlying problem. This problem is the insufficient production of nitric oxide to help start and maintain vasodilation. The creation of nitric oxide occurs in the endothelial cells that line the blood vessels. When the endothelial cells are damaged by high blood pressure, high sugar levels, cholesterol, and smoking, this decreases nitric oxide production. That's why your physician may ask you if you're experiencing any erectile problems. It's a warning sign for other potential health concerns that could affect your overall wellness in cardiovascular health. High blood pressure causes direct damage to the endothelium, yet nitric oxide helps to prevent this damage. Nitric oxide is your body's most powerful vasodilator. What this means is that nitric oxide causes the smooth muscle of your vascular wall to relax, which helps to keep your blood pressure in a normal range. Thus, nitric oxide directly addresses a male's ability to have an erection, as well as one of the major causes of ED, that being high blood pressure. High blood sugar and LDL or bad cholesterol can cause direct damage to the endothelium. This damage can lead to plaque formations and the disease called atherosclerosis. This cardiovascular disease causes the blood vessels to narrow to reduce blood flow. 
Beside increasing your risk for strokes and heart attacks, this leads to poor performance in the bedroom. Nitric oxide, when at sufficient levels in the bloodstream, will help to repair damage done to the endothelium and keep it free from plaque formations and calcification. Also, nitric oxide keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together. This helps to prevent blood clots that naturally reduce your risk for stroke or heart attack. And nitric oxide is critical in maintaining a normal blood pressure. Regarding smoking, nicotine directly damages the endothelium. If you smoke, the only good health choice is to stop. For men, every puff you take directly damages your sexual performance. Maybe for that reason alone, you'll stop smoking. Bottom line, a healthy endothelium and proper nitric oxide production work together for improved sexual function. Learning how to improve the health of your endothelium can be a significant aid in this area. To do this, you must properly nourish your endothelium with two critically important amino acids and several vital nutrients. Here's the short list. L-arginine, L-citrulline, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, pomegranate concentrate. L-arginine because this is what your endothelial cells use to create nitric oxide. L-citrulline because it recycles L-arginine to turbocharge the endothelium's ability to produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. This is a key factor in helping to heal the endothelium and allow for long-term production of nitric oxide. Vitamins D3 and K2 because they properly regulate calcium levels in your bloodstream. Calcium is needed to start the reaction for the creation of nitric oxide. Pomegranate concentrate to protect nitric oxide against oxidative destruction and enhance the biological actions of nitric oxide. After much research and study, we've determined that the best nitric oxide supplement in the marketplace for nourishing the endothelium to properly produce nitric oxide is Proarginine Plus, distributed by Synergy Worldwide and manufactured here in the United States by Nature's Sunshine Products. Proarginine Plus contains both L-arginine and L-citrulline at the needed levels to turbocharge your endothelium's ability to produce nitric oxide over an extended period of time. Additionally, Proarginine Plus includes vitamin D3, vitamin K2, and pomegranate concentrate with the following ingredients to help maximize endothelial cell health and function. A total of 262 tests are conducted along the various stages of manufacturing to ensure the highest quality and potency of the ingredients used. We believe Proarginine Plus can nourish your endothelial cells to help you properly produce nitric oxide, the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system and the most powerful vasodilator for helping you improve your cardiovascular health, which has also been shown to improve sexual function. Which brings us back to nitric oxide. You cannot live without nitric oxide. Your cardiovascular system could not function properly without nitric oxide. The sexual health of your body revolves around the production of nitric oxide. And much of your nitric oxide production is dependent upon the health of the endothelial cells that line your blood vessels. This leaves us with a final question. Would you like to take the 90-day health challenge to see if Proagenine Plus can help you improve your sexual function? If your answer is yes, then please talk with the person who recommended this presentation to you. They will work with you to help you properly nourish your endothelium for improved nitric oxide production leading to improved cardiovascular health. And for many with ED or erectile dysfunction, this helps to properly address the underlying issue to their poor sexual function.